So hello everybody, welcome to Matt the Groundhopper channel. Today is the turn of South End. They're a home to Solihull Moors in the National League. I'm parked about five minutes away, so I'm gonna have a little wander down. Let's have a look at the stadium. <laughs> In. Still south end nil, solid hole nil, really really lively start, really noisy crowd, really good atmosphere actually. Um, sort of south end maintained good crowds, even though they relegated to non-league, always consistent with sort of five, six thousand. Um, but yeah, so hopeful for a home win, see plenty of goals, but it is still nil nil. Just a bit about the stadium, obviously it's all seater. It's quite old-fashioned, it's not changed in a few years, but it's sort of seats are say on all four sides, two tiers behind the goal. I mean, where I'm sitting here in the West Stand, it's, the view is absolutely appalling. I mean, there's stanchions everywhere, vertical stanchions. I've got a ladder going up to the gantry for the, um, the cameras, so I've got to sort of like, you know, keep moving my head to see the goal. But yeah, so viewpoint's not great, but you get that with the old stands. But say so the atmosphere is quite an enclosed ground, quite tight, but really good atmosphere. The noise is really loud actually, so I'm very impressed with the South End fans. But, um, but yeah, so still nil nil, hoping for a goal. But ground, okay, old, but good atmosphere. First goal's got in, got in for South End. So it's South End one, sort of whole nil. Big fair has been coming, they've been on the top. But um, hit the crossbar, come back out, went on for rebound. But it is now South End one, solid on walls nil. So there seems to be some sort of unrest at this club. I mean, I was walking around the back of the stadium early on, all posters up, sort of wanting the owner out. I don't quite know what's happened at this club, why they want the owner out. But, Fans don't seem very happy with the ownership of the club at the moment. Um, obviously, the non league, I still find it hard to believe that South End are a non league club. I said it before, it's scumful. And if you haven't seen the video, watch the scumful video. They're bottom of this league currently. But yeah, there's so many big clubs in this league. The South End, for me, have always been a League One, League Two club, even in the Championship for a couple of years. But as I say, fans are not happy. Oh, South End on the attack now. Gonna. Oh! Just gone over the bar for another attack by South End. But yeah, so even though they're happy inside the ground, cheering the team on, they are venting their frustrations towards the chairman and the ownership. So just looking at the way in, there's probably about 50 away fans, solid hole fans, probably a one coach load. I mean, they're not a well-supported club, solid hole, even at the home grounds. You're lucky if they get a cut of thousand, but. Yeah, so the one coach has come down to support the away side down from Birmingham. Not really making much noise, to be fair. <laughs> but obviously they've made much noise to make that being 1-0 down the first half. But um, South End on the attack again. Coming through, South End. Straight across, no, just gone away. To be fair, South End have been playing quite well this first half, but it's still 1-0 to South End. I'm sat in the West Stand and it's called the Gilbert and Rose West Stand. And, you know, having the words Rose West 
within the title of your stand, it's not great, to be fair. If you don't know who Rose West is, uh, Google her. She's um, a very infamous multi-murderer with her husband, Fred West. But yes, I just found it quite sort of funny seeing the word Road West um, on my sort of ticket. So normally I give you a price of a bottle of Coke and a Mars bar, but unfortunately I couldn't get access into the Berg Hut at the back of the West End due to a massive queue and the whole stand was just clogged up with people. So feel free to comment on the price of Coke and Mars and I'll pop it into my next video within the league table. into the second half and we have another goal it's gone to South End it's now South End 2 sorry Humbles nil South End have been on top to be fair the second half is what they deserve it's 2 nil. Another goal, it's South End, so it's now South End 3, Solihull Moors nil. well taken goal, just, just inside the area, smashed it to the corner, goal, goalkeeper just watched it go in, but it is now 3-0 South End. I the, um, the home fans have been very loud, very impressed with the South End fans, there's a drum to the left of me in this West Stand, just beating throughout the whole game, sort of bang, 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 it's really dry and atmosphere forward, but... Um, yeah, noisy home crowd, so as I say, I'm impressed with the, the noise, it's the, um, the stadium's enclosed, so it really reverberates around, but yeah, so fair play to South End, um, and definitely a big thumbs up for their passion for the home fans. So, South End well on top of this game, covering the playoffs. I mean, on this form, I think they're going to make the playoffs. I think they're too far behind um, Wrexham and um, Notts County to go automatically. But as I say, I think they'll make the playoffs. And who knows in the playoffs what can happen. I don't think anyone expected Grimsby to go up last year, but they did. So, you know, they could have a chance and they could be back in the Football League next year. But, yeah, they played well today. Solihull Moors really haven't impressed me that much. Um, but I'm sure this is going to head for a very comfortable South End victory. You know, I've covered a few National League games this season and this league absolutely fascinates me. I mean, there's so many big clubs in this league that drop down from the Football League and it's like a graveyard of Football League clubs and they do say this is the hardest league to get out of. You've got to win it and win the playoffs. But there may be hope on the horizon because the Football League are talking about increasing the promotion places from two to three, which I think will get rid of quite a lot of the bottleneck that they come to find themselves in the National League. So I think that could be happening from next season, which I think is a good thing. Three up, three down, sort of really mix the clubs up a bit. But um, really good game, good advert for the National League. Uh, really enjoy my time here at South End. Tannoy has just announced there are 41 Solihull Wall fans that made the trip down for Birmingham. So, you know, we mock them, fair play to them, but you know, they've got a bit of a rubbish journey back to Birmingham because they are 3-0 down currently and I can't see them get back into this game. I can't even see him score to be fair, but um, yeah, so 41 away fans. So we're now in injury time, South End just had another chance, just went past the post, but it's coming still 3 0. I think it will finish 3 0. I mean, I mean, I always talk about this big clubs in this uh, division, but there's also some small clubs as well. I'm, I mean, Solihull Moors bringing 40 fans is just a joke, really. I mean, 
that's where clubs like South End miss out being in this division because if they was in League Two and they was playing the likes of Colchester and Gillingham, they're going to bring a thousand fans. So they must suffer financially. But um, I'm sure South End, if not this season, next season will be getting promoted. They're too big a club to stay in this league for too long. But um, anyway, so just to conclude, thank you for watching. If you like the channel, please subscribe, like and comment. And I'll see you at the next round. Thank <laughs> you.